Hey, hello, this is Mr. C coming to you with scary vocabulary. Okay, so uh, we just finished our Halloween lessons, and I want to use them to review and reteach the many verb endings and idioms that everybody may not have learned 100%. So we'll talk about variations of the verbs die, kill, scare, and we'll explore confusing related adjectives like dead, scared, scary. I'll include some uh, side notes in Spanish for my many students who speak Spanish. So let's start with die, morir in Spanish. This has a long I vowel sound, die. It also has a homophone, die. They sound exactly the same, which means to change the color of something. You can dye your hair or other things. Uh, you could say that, you say something like, uh, or when you dye your hair or a cloth, it, in the past tense, you'd say it's dyed. You could also say a, a certain kind of shirt is tie-dyed. They're saying this dyed like that, and it's, uh, that's the past tense of dye. It's also a homophone of the past tense of dye. Died. That sounds exactly like this word. Died and died are homophones. Past tense, murió in Spanish. We'll talk about that in a second, past tense of die. Look at the forms of die first. We have the non-s form that is used with the pronouns I, you, we, and they. The non-s form, non-s form. We die of old age if we live healthy lives. They die when disease spreads. You can use die as an idiom or manner of speech like, I die laughing when he tells jokes. They die of boredom during the lecture. We die of hunger waiting for lunchtime. We're so hungry, we're dying of hunger. We die of hunger. Dies is the S form of the verb, and it's used with the pronouns he, she, it, and everyone. The singular rule, singular, when you add S to the verb. He dies at the end of the story. She dies for her secret crush when she sees him. She dies of love, her crush. It's an idiom. Died is the past tense, and because die already has a silent E on the end, just put a D on it, not E-D. It already has it, an E. So all you add is D for the past. Remember that all pronouns work with past tense. I died, he died, you died, we died. He died two years ago. They died in the war. Long I sound. Lastly, the I-N-G form is die Notice how you must take off the I-E before adding Y. Dying. That, was, that one looks kind of strange. Take off the I-E first. Dying can be a verb that must be used with the uh, verb to be. Am, is, are, was, were. Am dying, is dying, was dying. The plants were dying in the sun. Dying can also be an adjective. The dying man. What kind of man was he? He was a dying man say his final farewell. Death is a form of the word dead, muerto, and it's a noun. It's not a verb. The death of my pet left me so sad. Death is a thing. It's a thing. Life is a thing. Death is a thing. When you add L-Y to it, though, deathly becomes an adverb that describes an adjective. Remember, adverbs describe adjectives and verbs. So, um, in this sentence, deathly modifies the, the adjective ill. Ill means sick. It's an adjective. How sick? How ill? Deathly ill. Really bad. Now let's move on to the forms of scare. Sustar. It can also be a noun, like the haunted house gave me quite a scare. In this sentence, scare is a noun, not a verb. Scare as a verb is the non-S form. Used with I, you, we, they, I scare, you scare, they scare. You scare me when you drive fast. Scares with the S is the S form is used with he, she, it, and everyone. Singular rule. He scares his mother with sneaky surprises. Add the letter D to scare to make scared. This word can be my phone is talking to me, razón. speaking Spanish to me, too. This word can be a verb or an adjective, scared. Scared as an adjective describes a feeling. I felt very scared when I saw that shark. Scared is, is a past tense verb. He scared her with his disguise. Finally, when you take off the E from scare and add Y, 
you get the adjective scary. See, there's no E-Y. Take off the E. Scary. She doesn't like scary movies. So uh, kill is the last vocabulary group we'll look at. It is the non-S form. I kill, you kill, we kill, they kill. The S form is kills. He kills, she kills, it kills, everyone kills. Add the S. It's the singular rule. Add ED to kill to make the past tense. Any pronoun can work with past tense. Remember, I killed, you killed, they killed. Like dying, the word killing can be a verb or an adjective. Here's a here's killing as a verb with the verb to be. And as or was were, the new vaccine is killing the virus. Oh, there's our bell. Here's killing as an adjective. The killing shot uh, took down the deer. What kind of shot was it? It was a killing shot. It was successful. Killing can also be a noun. The killing of the politician angered the people. In this case, killing is a thing. It's a thing that happened. Killing of the politician angered the people. So we have many, many variations of our scary vocabulary. So if you want to uh, review this and try it again and write some of your own sentences, I strongly recommend it. Okay, let's move on to the next lesson. Ready? Have a good day.